Well, Nick, I've had a chance to review your charts on both tests. That first test, you uh, did not pass the test, and it's pretty clear to me that you haven't told me the complete truth today. And the questions you're having a problem with are questions about Crystal, and in particular, the one about whether or not you know where she is right now. And uh, I don't—I treat police officers in these circumstances like I would myself. So we're not going to go through all the interview interrogation nonsense. Uh, uh, you and I are on the same page. Uh, but again, I'm also going to tell you the complete truth as we're sitting here. And it's no longer a matter of wondering, do you know anything about what happened? We're past that now. I mean, I, I'm crystal clear with you. I give everybody a good, fair test. I'm no longer asking you if you know. You do. Um, now, what you want to do with that is entirely up to you. I'm going to yell and scream at you and get the Sipwood's phone book and all that. I'm talking to you man to man as a fellow law enforcement officer. Uh, that the time has come for you to think real hard about the rest of your life. Okay. This is you. I'm not talking about Brooks or anybody else. Uh, and I'm, I'm telling you facts of life. I'm an old guy. I'm not trying to be a father figure here. But I'll tell you, in doing this for 25 years, the way that this pans out. When the FBI gets involved in this investigation, I want you to listen to one thing. You don't have to say anything to me. You do whatever you want to do. As I said, we, you may never even meet an FBI agent, right? But once you get on the radar, we don't go away. Unless there's a reason to. I thought there would be. You didn't pass this, and there's some other information there as well. So I guarantee you we're not going away. All right. The FBI has unlimited resources in terms of forensic information, electronic information, many bodies as want to pour out here to do surveillance and look through everything that's ever gone on. We will find Crystal. I have zero doubt about that. It's a matter of when it's going to be and why. And inevitably, what's going to happen is one of a couple of things. We'll determine exactly if she's injured and dead, what she in likelihood is. You've come to that conclusion yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, the way that happened and the means in which it happened. Now, I know what your relationship is with your brother. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a tight relationship, but in a unique kind of way. You have a little different relationship, and, and it's actually, again, not trying to make it very similar to what mine and my brothers are. But close, but in a very different way. And no doubt in my mind that you've spoken with him uh, about what happened. You know essentially what happened. And whether or not it was something staged out and planned in terms of I'm going to make it go away, or if it was something that was I hesitate to say an accident, but something that was not intended to do. By hunches, I don't know, because I don't have the physical evidence in front of me to know, but 99% of the time of these, it's something that uh, was not intended, a push, a shove, somebody trips, hits her, or whatever. Have no idea. We find her, we're going to know, no doubt about it. And we will. And at that point, they're no longer going to come and ask you what happened. They're no longer going to come and ask Brooks what happened. They're going to know what happened. And they're going to prosecute, assuming a worst case scenario. Because everybody had an opportunity up front to say, whoa, time out. It's a horrible, horrible thing. I got scared. Let me just tell you what happened. Nobody's going to want to hear that anymore. Because all your testimony in the grand jury, all of his in the grand jury, the interviews that were recorded, where there are demonstrable lies about things that were said, that's all I'm put in front of a jury and or a judge, you know, even in the system. And people are going to look at it in the totality and say, well, now they're saying it was some kind of an accident or they didn't intend for it to happen. Why did they just say that last month, last year, five years ago, whenever it may be? And what's going to end up happening is people end up getting prosecuted and they look for the most significant sentences they can for people. And then people start cutting deals and who's going to get uh, the reduced sentence and blah, blah, you know how that all works. Point is, at that point, it's out of everybody's control. We, if we're going to get involved as the FBI and expend all these resources, then we're going to just assume the worst uh, and go forward. If at this stage, however, and I'm just giving you the facts to, to lay out. These are not things, uh, I, I have no doubt, you've pondered this since the very first day this all occurred. Mm -hmm. But I want you to refresh it in your mind. You think about it however you want to. What everybody that I've talked to believes is that this was something that was not a planned out murder for hire type thing or that nature. It was about a relationship 
and something that happened flared up. Like you worked from how many domestics in your career? Plenty. And you know, people don't plan those out. Sometimes you know, you see a pattern of behavior. It doesn't appear to be the case here. That's why I asked you about their relationship, and others have as well. And nobody's pointing to saying it's that kind of relationship. Again, I'm not going to lay out all the evidence that's sitting there right now, and there's plenty of it. And I don't know the additional evidence that's going to come out as this goes forward, because we're just getting started on an awful lot of things. But rest assured, it's all going to be laying on a table where you can now point and say, okay, this is it. And uh, whether it be a circumstantial type of a case where just you put together the totality and it's so overwhelming that there is only one conclusion that a jury can draw, that's probably how this is going to work out. Unless somebody wants to step up and be a man and say, look, here's the deal. This is what happened. And make it better. Uh, I tell you, 25 years of doing this, it always works out for the best when that's what happens. People aren't going to come in. You know the deal. Once you, you've interviewed a lot of people in your career. I'm a few quite sure. More than a few, I would bet. You've been a lot of force 11. An interview can be as simple as talking to people or a traffic stop. Right? Mm -hmm. You know people, is my point. And in talking to those people, you pretty much know what happens. You've been around kids before. You know, if you ask them a question and they say something, you know, you know it pretty much right away. Well, that's what I do kind of on steroids. And I mean, it's obvious. Looking at your interviews before, it was already obvious that you're not being truthful about some things. To me, it was equally obvious that you're not somebody that had uh, a major role in anything that happened as far as her disappearance in me. And there could be some other issues and factors there. I don't know. But that's my assessment. But when we talk about, start talking about her, where she is right now, um, you know, when somebody fails a polygraph, the reason I did the test like this. You saw the number stats, right? When I had you write the number five and I had you tell me that you didn't write it, and it jumps off the screen that you're telling me the truth. Mm -hmm. There's areas right off of that list you did the exact same thing. And you know where they are. And what that is is a guilty knowledge test. That's what we call it. And what that is is your heart and your mind betraying what your body knows to be the truth. My master's degree is in forensic psychophysiology, which means the mind and the body interacting to determine truth in an interview setting. That's what I do. This is actually admissible in court because it's scientifically valid. So when I say you know more than what you told me, I'm not guessing that. Okay. And when I tell you, polygraph, you didn't do well. I don't show people that chart. I don't show it. You probably don't care, but just so you know the facts. That's results on your test. Exception indicated. 100%. And then greater than 99. What's greater than 99? 100, right? What are the questions? Do you know where Crystal is right now? Are you hiding any information about what happened to Crystal? Okay. You didn't tell me the truth on both of those questions. So, I mean, I'm telling the truth. I'm not going to sit here and make up a bunch of stuff and try to put your read techniques with you. We're past that. So the cat's out of the bag as far as your guilty knowledge of what happened here. And again, I'm not going to play the games with you, it's the detective doing all the read stuff and everything else. I'm telling you, it's two individuals who know the way investigations work, what the facts are. And the time is now, today, to start fixing this problem. You know, we can talk all about Crystal and how we need to get her a proper burial and her family needs closure and her son needs closure and all those things are true. But you know that. But you're a realist. You deal with them the today and the going forward. You even kind of said that basically in an in interview the other day. People were concerned about why aren't you, why isn't Brooks acting differently with what's happened here? You know, his girlfriend and mother's child is missing and he's happy-go-lucky essentially. Well, people react to things in different ways and I get that. That's why I say your relationship with him is a little different than others. It's a close relationship but it's different than others might perceive. I'm the same way. It's an introvert's way of dealing with things. Introvert doesn't mean shy, it means you deal with things from an internal locus. We all do. I'm very much that way, so I, I get that. But that's why I'm not going to go into all these things about getting her a proper burial in the family and getting her back uh, so that her son can visit in grave and all that. We all know that to be true, and you've already thought about that. You're dealing with that internally. What you're dealing with going forward is you, and, and more importantly, your brother. Um, your role in this I'm assuming, because I wasn't out there to see exactly what you did or didn't do. It was nothing. 
Well, I'm not even asking you. I would okay. Okay. Right. okay, we'll go ahead. I mean, you, I mean, you did. I've already shown you, so I, I don't care. I'm not asking you if you did it. Okay, okay. And we both know that. Uh, it's, it's for a lot, I'm not trying to be punny, but it's crystal clear, right? What happened here. Now, the details of who did what when, can I tell you exactly? No, but I can, I can demonstrably point out through forensic evidence already that things that you told us uh, about where you were at various times are demonstrably not true. We can prove in front of a jury today that you were places that you said you weren't. That's just one example. Um, again, I, I'm not asking for, I'm telling you the facts of what happened. You okay. Believe whatever you want about what I'm telling you. But I get paid to be truthful with people. Right? I'm here, my whole point today, when I'm doing a polygraph examination, I'm working for you, I'm working for the person in that chair. This is about a quest for the truth. And we're much closer today to the truth than we were when you first walked in that door. You can deny, 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 and that's fine. That's what people do as well. That's what you've, you've done at this point. And it's human nature. You know, when, when people are asked questions about a matter such as this, they immediately circle the wagons and start to, well, our self-preservation, we all Man, do. Man, let me just cut you off. I mean, it, do we need to take this any further? I would like to take it to the truth. That's the whole reason we're here. Is the test though? I mean, man, this. I mean, I, you're talking crazy. Well, I mean, you're talking crazy. Was that you your said, rehearsed response to what was going to happen today? Because it sure sounds like it. I, I don't know what it sounds like. I'm just telling well, you. I'm telling you what it you, is. You're talking. You're talking crazy. What's crazy about it? Explain to me. The accusations you're making. Yeah, I'm saying you're not involved in this. Absolutely not. Well, no. You already told me that. That's why we did the polygraph to find out. Well, now we both. I told you what now. You told me before you had nothing to do with it, right? Yes. Well, now we're past that because I've already shown that you did have something to do with it. I don't know what the test. I just showed you. Okay, I'm I just showed it to you. I, but I'm telling you, I did have. And I'm telling you, you're lying. Okay. I mean, I can't make it any. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I'm just I, telling you the truth. That, that's what I'm doing to you. I'm telling you the truth. No, you're not. We're past that. Okay. I've already shown you. I've taken the pile of it. Do you have anything else for me? Because I mean, I'm not going to sit here and we're not going to go back and forth like this. You do whatever you want to do. I, I said I'm here. I mean, I'm I'm, I want to cooperate with you. I mean, I'm not well, here. Tell me what happened. Tell me what you know. I don't know anything. We're past that. You've already shown me that you do. I know nothing. I'm and sorry. I'm you. That. That, well, that's not true. It's not me. I just showed you. I don't even show people that are not. I showed you yours. Man. And I even went the extra step for you to find out, okay, well, let's try to nail down what you know more about. You know more about this? Who, who would know? Am I saying that you... You did it or you didn't? No, I'm just saying you know more than we did. Whether that's a simple conversation with your brother or whether you were physically involved out there, I can't tell you. Either one of those things would explain what I'm seeing. My hunch is it's something that your brother told you. I don't know anything. He has not spoken with me about this. Well, He's my brother. I'm glad you said that because uh, he probably would know better than to say specific things. So it's a matter then perhaps of what you observed, what you saw, what you saw other people say. I don't know. I wasn't there. All I'm telling you is, objectively, that's what we do. You, you and I do. That badge on there is, is what? It's to protect society. That's what shield is, yes. right? Yes. That's what we do. And I'm protecting you just as I would anybody else. But at the end of the day, I'm protecting one thing, and that's the truth. And objectively, looking at the facts, even if I were to take this out of the equation, why would, would somebody, on numerous occasions, in a formal interview, under oath over there, say something they know isn't true? Why would they do that? What, you know about me? Uh, you know about you? Well, I mean, do you think it would have had anything to do with being a little irritated about how things are going? I mean... Well, that's why you didn't lie? I didn't, I didn't lie. Well, I'm you. telling you, you did. I mean, I can show that already. This is not even... Tell me, about, tell me about one of the lies. Well, I, I can do that unless you're going to help me to understand the reasons behind it. Dude, I'm not going to lay out all the evidence that they do or don't have, but I can I, tell I, you... I didn't ask you. I said, tell me about something I've lied about. That's what I'm talking about. In the grand jury, you said places that you were not. When today, when I asked you specifically a moment ago about whether or not you were ever at certain places and you told me no, well I already knew when I asked that question that that wasn't true because I can place you there. Those are just examples. You, are you talking about the video out there in the driveway? No, I'm not. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. I know you don't. But I can promise you that I have been 100% honest with you. No, that's, that's what everybody, 100% honest, that's just, just you take retake me and stuff, that's what everybody says. I'm 100%, I'm 110% honest. That's not it. Look, there's either the truth or not the truth, right? And that's what I gave you, the truth. Well, but you didn't, and I've already shown that. I gave benefit of that before you come in. I'm assuming you're telling me the truth. Look, I treat people the way they treat me. You haven't been 
uh, an ass with me, and I'm not going to be an ass with you. I'm not that kind of guy. But I'm, I'm laying out for you what I've seen here. You, I can't argue with this. I've done over 2,000 of these. Trust me, when I told you I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. You must have slipped up today. I no. mean, I don't... What do you think the chances are better that you slipped up and the truth snuck out here or that I slipped up? I know you slipped up, but if you're telling me that I failed that test... I told well, you, no, in certain terms, you did fail that test. Well, then the test... I told you. Then it wasn't valid, I mean... Absolutely valid. Well, I, listen, I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with it. Okay, well, that, that's fine, and I'll tell you, I'll even give you that you had nothing to do with it, okay? I know for, for certain, purposes here today. I know for certain I had nothing to well, do with it, and I know nothing about it. Well, that I won't, I won't give you. Well, I mean, that's Because just, I'm, I've shown that. Look, one of the two things is true. Either you know something, and it could be something relatively insignificant that you haven't told me. I don't know anything. Absolutely nothing. Well, then why would you be less than candid? with me, with the other interview, and in the grand jury. There's a reason for that. But, uh, that's what I'm saying. Explain that to me. I had nothing to do with this, and I don't know anything about it. No, no, no. You know, it's just irritation. I mean, that just kind of worked its way into this. Okay. You know, I've been 100% honest. Okay, well, that gets to, maybe that's it. Let me ask you that. All right, uh, I'll give you that. But when I ask you if you'd be less than can, that means less than 100% truthful about things. You said you were irritated. Okay, which I, I understand. I would be too. Uh, true, uh, no doubt about it. Okay. Okay. Um, have I been accused of things in the past that I didn't do? Yeah. Um, have I been accused of things I did do? Absolutely. Okay. And I've been irritated when I got accused of things I did do because I got caught. And then I got to face up with the consequences. When you talk about being irritated in there. Tell me some of the things then. Like, it, Again, I'm not rehash. I'm not. I'm not rehashing all of this. I'm just. No, 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 no. I don't, no, want, waste, I, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. I'm my time I, is not wasted. Listen, we're here talking. Listen, I don't know nothing about this. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all, and I had nothing to do with it. I don't know anything. Well, if I had something to tell you, I would. T she's got kids. I'm aware of that. Okay. Why well, do you listen, think we're here? Okay. Look, I, I don't know nothing. Well, here, you, something you no, just not said. even something insignificant. Clear that up for me, what you just because I said, why would you be less than candid with me and the other interview in the grand jury? And you said, why would that? Because I was irritated. Okay. Well, well being irritated and being put in front of 12 people and accused of stuff like this, I mean, you know, you're going to forget things and not be able to speak as well yeah. as you normally would. I mean, there, there's, more, there's more to it than you're saying. Well, that's what I'm asking. That's, what I'm, that's exactly what and, I'm asking. And you, some of those things you can't explain. I'm not going to sit well, here and take, try to explain. Take your time to relax. Look, I'm... As I said, I'm sitting here. I'm here working for you. If there's stuff to explain, explain it. I will take all day with you to fix it. And it would take all day to go through all this. I mean, brother, it's, you're it's on the not... clock. You're getting paid, so am I. Uh, you, give me the thumbnail sketch if you want. Just Man, explain to me what your big I, concerns are. I, I'm not going there. Why not? It makes no sense. I'm not going there. Okay. Well, it's not okay for me. Well, I mean, it, look, look what just... we're dealing with here. We're talking about the potential murder of an individual, or. An accidental death, right? And if I do anything, I would help you. No, no, but stop. I stop. We're going to. Do I, I know where you're going with this, man. Where am I going? You're going to just bring all this stuff up about Crystal, and you know you need to nope. be, you know. No, nope. go, go ahead. I told you. I'll, 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 I told you I wouldn't go this whole read technique stuff with you, right? What I'm talking about just is what you just said about explaining it to me, so I can understand where you're coming from. You don't have to go through a whole life's history unless you want to. Just you said that you're you were irritated, and there's things that you don't know, man. That's what you said to me. Help me to understand what some of those things are that I don't understand, that would then make me understand the reason for this. There can be explanations, is my point. Yeah, I mean, just this whole process, you know, starting from the it. chief and going down. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But you said there's things that, I don't that, know that about. This will be this. shown to him. He'll be irritated, and then he'll be watched. I, I just, I'm not doing that. It's that simple. I mean, either... What do you mean? I'm not understanding. You, you, you ought to be following me, man. If you're sharp as... If you work for the... You ought to be following me. Okay. Talk to me like a the, kid then. I, I, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm giving you every opportunity. I, and I'm telling you no. Okay. I don't know anything about this. Well, that's okay. That's not what I'm talking about. You, but you said there's things that I'm I don't know. I'm not going into it. Explain it. I'm not going into it. Okay. Why not? Because it's not worth going into. I would think it would be very worth going into. It's not worth going into. Why not? Okay. I'm not talking about it. Period. Why not? Because I'm choosing not to. Okay. That's fine. But tell okay. me I'm face to face as a man. I'm not going to tell you the truth. That's all I'm asking. That's not what I just said. Then. That's what I'm hearing. Well, then you need to you, rethink it. Well, help me to rethink it. Then. Look, I'm, I'm not, not going. To, listen to me. I'm not going into it. Okay. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, really I'm, I'm, here, I'm here to cooperate with your polygraph and all that stuff. And you know, you can make any kind of notes you want. You can assume that I fail. 
I don't. It didn't bother me. What What is it you haven't told me that's causing you such concern here? I'm not going into the, to everything that's happened. You know, I mean, like what? The I, don't, I, don't, I don't have nothing to do with this. Guys showing up at my house. Look, this is the first day you and I've met, right? Yes. Okay. Have I been anything but cordial with you? Everything. And I think I've been the same way with you. I'm you not know? accusing you of not being. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else to discuss here. Well, I mean, it, if, if I had something to give you, I would. I don't. Put yourself in my seat for just a second, okay? Okay. And I'm talking to someone who's a family member, essentially, mm -hmm. is missing and possibly dead. And you're sitting here, and that individual, who you know nothing about, never met before today, right? But you've seen some interviews where he hasn't been completely truthful about things. Not just kind of, skip, haven't been completely truthful about a couple of I've been 100% truthful. Well, listen to what I'm saying. You listen to what I'm saying. I've been 100% truthful. Why are you yelling at me? Well, because you're telling me I'm lying and I know I'm not. I know the truth, you know? And I've been 100% honest with you, know the, truth. With you no. the grand jury, and everybody else I've spoken well, to. Here's what I'm getting at. Well, you just said a Yes, I have. Ago. No, you haven't. I most definitely have. And if you don't want to believe it, that's your issue. It's not mine. It's not just me. I showed you. Dude, I don't give a goddamn what your fucking computer said. Okay? I think you do. I'm telling you that I have been 100% honest with you. Is this how you act? When, does this act this way towards Crystal? Well, somebody, is, is this how I act toward Crystal? Yeah. I act toward, pe toward people that accuse you, me of lying when I'm not lying. Did she That's accuse how you of lying? No, I didn't know Crystal. Then why are you getting so angry? Because you're calling me a fucking liar. No, That's I'm why. just calling you a liar. Okay. I'm not you I don't. Today. I don't like it when people call me a liar. I'm being 100% truthful with you. There's only the truth or not. What you said. Dude, can, why can't you? I'm being truthful. Look, we're okay. not, not two-year-olds, all right? Okay. So it's not, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Yes, I am, no, I'm not. We're, we're talking. Look, I've been nothing but professional with you and trying I, to help you in okay. this situation. Other than calling me a liar when I'm not. It, look, if the right thing to do is to tell you you're not being truthful, then I'm going to tell you that. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Look, I don't care. Little lies, big lies. They're all the same in terms of the polygraph. I haven't told you any lies. That's not entirely true. It is 100% true. Then help me to figure this out. Okay. What you just told me a moment ago. Maybe explain it to me so that maybe I misunderstood what you're telling me. But you told me because you were irritated and there's all kinds of things that I don't know about whatever, that I can't understand why you would say the things you said. That's well, what you told It's just been an experience. Well, all this is going on. But you that's got guys showing about. up over at my house taking calls. I mean, this is crazy. Okay, but what, that's what I'm asking about. Wait, are we talking about because of things that have been going on since this happened, or are you talking about there's things that have gone on over time that I'm not understanding? No, no, I'm talking about recently. Okay, well, how am I supposed to know that? If you yeah, don't I mean, this is simple stuff, man. I mean, I have been 100% honest with you, and surely, God, you can understand with people showing up at my house and my family out there taking cars, the neighbors are watching. Man, it's been it's been screwed up. Of course I can understand. Okay. That. But I, I know, wasn't there. How do I know all this? Well, man, you just assume. I mean, if you were a patrol officer and you got your chief showing up, and, I mean, dude, that's crazy. Look, I've been Who the hell? professional. I mean, they, 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 listen, the they, they come, listen, they come up with all these lies about, well, there's bodily fluid in your car, there's blood. There is no way in hell there is any blood in that car. I have no idea. Everybody's told me that. You know, I can speak with the state police. That's the first thing they said. Okay. Uh, grand jury. I mean, it's crazy. But I'm not them, right? Okay, but it, I'm just saying this is this is crazy. It, it, it may be. All I'm saying, look, I'm not balloting for all this stuff. The evidence will speak for itself, right? Sure. So it really doesn't matter what people want to say or not. The evidence that I've told you about that I can demonstrate are things that we already do have back that I can show. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't think they're anything that, that uh, paints you in a horrible light. They just they show discrepancies with what you've said. Oh. Well, there, there may be a very clear reason for and that. There is. Well, that's all I'm saying. I'm not... Look, when I accuse you of lying over here, okay, it, it, lie is a bad one. Nobody wants to hear lie. We've all lied in our lives. I don't care who you are. I have, no doubt about it. We all have. But nobody wants to hear that. But somebody who's telling a lie, it's the same thing as saying they're not being completely truthful, right? Okay, that's a little prettier way of saying it. Mm -hmm. But it's the same thing. I'm not saying you're so dishonest, you're so dishonest. You're so that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is today with you, I have been 100% honest, and I don't know nothing about it. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Well. And I'm saying that that's not entirely true, but it could be. I mean, but if, listen to what I'm saying here, okay? You just you want to get mad in defense about it. Hear what I'm saying, okay? Go ahead. Because I'm, I'm truthful. I'm going to be completely truthful okay. with you as I have been. person would fail a polygraph on the questions that I asked you on a spectrum of issues, whether it be 
yeah, you were out there and watched her get shot and killed by somebody. And again, I'm making that up, all right? You would fail if that had happened and you told me you knew nothing about it, right? Obviously. On the far end of the spectrum, if there's something you know about in your mind that you haven't told me or other investigators, could be about as simple as uh, you saw an argument one time, and again, I'm making it up, you saw an argument between uh, Brooks and Crystal a year ago where she pushed him. Uh, they, they've never been physical with one another. I'm making it up. Okay. Right? I'm just, what I'm talking about is the bigger picture is you would fail a polygraph on something that simple or something that dramatic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It could be anything in between. I'm not assuming it's a worst case. In fact, I'm assuming it's something you just haven't got off your chest with me or someone else. That's all I'm saying. Is it a little more clear what I'm talking it, about? It is, but I, there's nothing on my chest. Well, but here's the thing is I think that there is. Okay. And, and again, I'm not assuming that it's something huge and dramatic. It mm -hmm. may be. I, I can't tell you what this thing is going into your brain and telling you yeah. this is what you're seeing. That's not what I'm saying. All this does is tells me, do you, not me, do you feel you are being completely truthful or do you not? And it is telling me you do not feel you're being completely truthful. Well, that's okay. Your level of what's truthfulness may be a little different than mine. That's why I take the time to explain what I'm asking and why I'm asking it. Mm -hmm. So it's clear that when I ask that question, you can confidently say yes or no. Well, obviously with those two questions in particular, about Crystal and about whether you're hiding any information, there's something that you weren't confident enough to say with 100% certainty. There's some other thing, and it may be a personal family issue, for all I know, that yeah. you feel, and frankly, I think it's probably something along those lines, that you feel, well, man, if I tell him that, they're going to think that he's just evil, or he did something terrible. I'm not going to think If that. anything stands out in my mind, I'll tell you. Well, then, what? looking back at, when you think about this investigation, and, and not from other investigators anything else, the investigation and what happened to Crystal and how that's affecting your brother and his child. With all this, when you sit at home at night and laying in bed, you think about what, what's your biggest concern and looking back? Because we all do. We all are analytical in law enforcement. We think about everything that's ever happened, right? And you start assessing this. You may not discuss it with everybody else. I get that. Uh, people handle emotions in different ways, especially in traumatic circumstances. Mm -hmm. I know I do. I'm an internal person. But I guarantee you that means I think about it inside more than I'm talking about it to other people. What I'm saying is, when you're sitting there at night and you're thinking about it, maybe you talked to Brooks, but maybe you didn't. What is it? Where do you, where's your mind focus on something that you look back at and go, man, maybe that's something that I should have talked to Brooks about, or maybe that's something that might have had something to do with it. Where do you focus? These are just suspicions in your mind, right? But what do you think about it? That's what cops do. That's what we do. Where, does, where does your mind land at? when you think about those? I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't, I didn't know Crystal. I didn't know Crystal. I don't really know my neighbor. I know I, that's I, sad. I, I, I get it. I mean, I just wasn't around them. I, don't, I never really saw them argue anything. If they did, they did it away from me. I don't... Well, well that, that's they, fine. And if they did argue in front of you, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I mean, people argue. So what? My point being is if there's things, anyone along that nature, mm -hmm. or even a comment that Brooks has made before or after she went missing, that may cause you some pause in your mind. That may be enough, potentially, to cause you to have an issue on the polygraph. It's just, I, I can't put words, I don't know what you know. I only know, do you believe you're being truthful? Or not? And, you, and you don't feel you're being 100% truthful, as you said. Maybe you're being 99 now, I don't know. I, man, I don't know. I mean, I, if I did, I'd tell you. I don't, I don't want us to tell you. I mean, I can't just make something up, you know, and throw it at you. I mean, you know I, what I ask you to. That's why I'm asking yeah. you just to tell me the truth and what you... See, the way this works, it doesn't... Suspicions don't do anything. Wondering, thinking, oh, gosh, I don't know, what could it be that... has nothing to do with it. You only respond the way you do, the physiological signature of somebody who's thinking about this specific thing. Mm -hmm. Which means in your mind... And again, I have no idea what that thing is. It could be something horrible, it could be something very explainable. But only you know what that is. And that's what I'm getting at is trying to get you to just... So this is the thing that I was thinking about I had some concerns about. And at that point, I'm going to, okay, well, that probably explains what I'm seeing here. And again, it's not going to be a big deal. I'm just, it's what we do. When people initially say, I don't know nothing about nothing, and it turns out as they're sitting later at night, they go, okay, I do know a little bit about something, but it's probably not important. But I'm going to have told you I don't know anything, so if I tell you this, you're going to think I'm lying to you. Well, that's not the case. Man, I, nothing stands out. I mean, I wish, I wish I could come up with something, but I can't. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean... I, I've been 100% truthful with you. You know, I mean, I, 
I can't think of any examples. They never gotten. As far I don't think Brooks would have ever got physical with her. I really didn't see them argue. I mean, I just I ain't got nothing to give you. Well, and, and I'm glad to say it because everything from what little I've talked to people about Brooks in particular, mm -hmm. about you two, is uh, it's not a history of violence and that kind of stuff. There's been no domestic accusations, no, nothing. No. That, which means that whatever happened here was likely, you know, again, I hate to take these word accident, but it was, I say, unintended because people can get pushed and shoved and, um, I don't know, I haven't even seen her. How big is she? She's not a real big, is she? hundred and, I don't know, maybe 150 pounds or something. Yeah, so it's me, that, that's big, but uh, he's bigger than she is. Yeah. Right? Okay. And, and men being men, women, they get hot-headed and, and they started pushing and shoving and screaming and throwing tantrums and all that yeah. stuff. Not all, I don't need to throw a blanket, but a lot do. And all I'm saying is in those situations, if it's, it's a situation where she got mad and she pushed her shove and he defended it's not going to hit a woman, uh -huh. um, it could be as simple as in the course of that she fell and hit her head on something. For all I know, again, I'm, I'm making up, I don't know, but in those circumstances, that's a real easy answer to what's occurred here. Again, we're going to find it, we're going to know exactly yeah, what happened. Sure, but, no doubt. But, but the time to hear about those things, what actually happened out there, is before we get to that. I wish I could lead you there, but I can't. I don't, I, I've got nothing for you. I don't know where she's at. I, we didn't have nothing to do with it. I'm telling you that that's that's the way it is. I mean, I don't know. You know, if you watch the grand jury testimony or I my interview did. with the state police, I mean, I you know, sometimes I don't speak well. Like a lot of times when I go to court, I've got my I, I've got my report in front of me. I read word for word. I can't. I just don't remember all that stuff. And then you put twelve people in front of me. They start asking you a bunch of silly questions. Yeah, I mean, stuff I just that. blanks out. I mean, I just don't. I don't respond well to that. I get that. I'm not. Uh, I don't like speaking in front of groups, period, even 12 people on jury. I hate testifying. Mm -hmm. It's what we got to do. But I'm also a student of people. That's, you know, that's what my master's degree is. So mm -hmm. when I watch the interviews, I don't just listen, but I listen to what's being said, how it's being said, statement analysis, kinesics, physiology, what people are doing mm -hmm. in the room. And you could turn off the sound in some of those interviews and see spots where an objective interviewer would point and go, he's not being completely truthful right there. Well, I did leave the sound on, so I listened to some of those spots. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't think they're huge critical issues, mm -hmm. and it may be as simple as what you said earlier, that because of irritation and accusations, you just decided you're not going to tell people about whatever, fill in the blank. Well, it's not that I don't that I didn't tell them. It's just that you know a lot of that stuff I didn't remember, you know. Okay. And I'm not going to start making stuff up or, or tweak it in any way. Yeah. I'll just straight up tell you I don't remember. If I don't, I'm not going to make something up. Absolutely, I get that. And I'm not. Um, I wouldn't want you to say something that you didn't know. I mean, mm -hmm. that, if you do that, you're lying by definition. Yeah. But the other side of that is, I mean, we all have politicians. Hillary Clinton is a prime example, right? And I'm older than you, but looking back in the Whitewater days, way back when. And mm -hmm. She was interviewed, uh, her husband was interviewed. So we use those as studies in interview yeah, and interview interrogation. And what, what do they say more often than any other? What's the phrase they use? I don't know. I'm, I'm not up that, to date. That's actually what they say, but they say I don't recall. Oh, I see. And when it's clear that they do. Mm -hmm. And so, and I'm not saying that's not the case with you, but when you hear I don't recall, it tends to raise flags with people that are investigatively asking questions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, the truth may be you don't recall. But that, that's certainly a, a viable uh, option. But when you couple those statements with all the other things you want in the room, and, and then when in some of those instances, not all, but there were a few, where we can physically I'd say, well, no, but he just said, when you didn't say, I don't recall, you said, I was here or I was not there. And they asked you several times, were you ever there? You said, no. And we can show, well, yeah, but here's the evidence that shows you were there. If you're talking about the vehicles in the driveway, they harped on that yeah. and harped on I'm not it. Talking about and, that. I mean, they must ask that question ten times. I mean, I'm not we may have been, I don't know. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, as far as that, I think at the end of the day, you were, uh, you, you changed your answers up somewhere that to, to be as truthful as I think you could be. Mm -hmm. uh, when you said, no, I don't think we were there, and I'm sorry, I don't think, and ultimately we have, and we could have been, well, we can tell whether you were or weren't there. I mean, that, that's simple. So, whether you recall or not, you were. That's so I don't care. But what I'm talking about are other times that I haven't given you the evidence on here today. I've asked you questions about where you were or where you were not, mm -hmm. and you were definitive. It wasn't. Well, I don't think it was. I couldn't have been. It was no, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, 
and again, it's not a huge issue in the grand scheme of things in terms of you being in a certain spot or not being there. Mm -hmm. But if I already know the answer to that, the truth, the ground truth, as we say in polygraph, mm -hmm. and you're saying something other than what I know I can prove, it raises questions yeah, it, in my it, mind. Yeah, that, to, that's not happening. Well, but it is, is in my point. It, uh, okay, whatever. It, 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 my point in that is... Man, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm just telling you I didn't do it. I don't know nothing I about it. it. I don't know anything about it. My brother, and I can tell you I know him well enough, he didn't do it. It's just the way it is. I mean, Have you I, ever known somebody that you said wouldn't do something and it turns out they did? I'm sure I have, but it wasn't my brother. That's right. So you're choosing to believe. Because, I, because, because I know him real well. I yeah. understand. Yes. Well, look, yes, I am. And if it's my brother, I'm going to feel the same way. Okay. okay. My point being is just because you feel that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Well, I mean, I feel, right. I feel 100%. Not 96, not 98. I mean, it, there's just no, this is crazy. He would, not, he would not have done that. But what you're saying is you believe him at the end of the day. Well, it's not that I believe him because I haven't questioned him about it. You know, I haven't, that's... Why would... Because I know him well enough, I don't have to ask him that question. Well, okay, well I guess, what I'm asking really is this, not... I don't think I would ask my brother if he did it or didn't either. I don't think I would. But what I would do as an investigator, to you as a police officer, if she's missing, and you believe you know anything to do with it, I would investigate and want to question him and say, look, what, what do you think happened here? How do, how do we find her? How do we get her back? Uh, what do you want me to do about this? You know, that kind of thing. Those are conversations I have, I have had with my family, as a matter of fact. Yeah. And I'm wondering why you haven't had those kinds of conversations. Or maybe you have. We, we've talked briefly about it. Uh, well, well, talk to me a little bit about those conversations. I, I mean, I don't really remember word for word. We've spoke very little about it. I'm not investigating it. I mean, I a lot of people have asked why we're not out there looking with our family members jumping out in the road giving us the, I'm not going to get out in the woods no, no. and have somebody end up threatening me or something, then I've got to do something silly. But, but what I'm asking is, you're not under oath here or anything. I'm not asking you to remember specifically what was, I'm just talking in generalities. Tell me about, were the conversations like what I just described? Hey, what's going on? What do you think happened? How can I help? I mean, I don't remember those. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not going to start making stuff up. And I, yeah, I'm just not well, going to do it. Let me ask this then. If, if you're me here, there may be reasons. Would it not strike you extremely odd? That I, just, police... I just think things get screwed up. You know, I'm not going there. I mean, it's, it's Wouldn't a... you want to help him find her? Of course, I want to help find her. I want her to walk in. Her, I want her to walk in his door right now. You don't clear this whole mess up, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> but for that point, that's what I'm saying. Wouldn't you? Didn't you ask him? Hey, what can I do to help? I mean, we really haven't been around a lot. You know, around each other a lot. You know, we've been up there to the farm a few times. Both of us are just incredibly busy. I don't. I didn't know Crystal. You know, he's dealing with this. I don't. I'm not gonna. Please. I'm not going to stress him out about it. Yeah, but aren't you going to help? Of course, I want to help, but what? But, but, that's what, what, I'm getting at. but what can what can we do? You know. That's what I mean. You ask him, what can I do? There's nothing we can do, you know. She's just gone. I mean, ho hopefully, like I said, she'll show up any minute, and if not, obviously you guys are going to find her at some point. I find out that. how she was killed. Is there evidence under her fingernails? All this stuff, and it's not going to point toward him or me. Who would it point to? I. Well, how the hell would I know that? I'm that's not, what I'm asking you. I'm not investigating the crime. I don't know. Do you have any suspicions of anybody? I do not. I didn't hang around Crystal. I don't know her husband. I don't know her ex-husband. I, I don't know those people. If I had anything to throw out at you, I'd do it. Would you? Most definitely. What about other investigators? What about them? Would you tell them? I would tell other investigators, I don't too much care for Jon Snow, but the rest of them, I don't have a problem with them. Okay. State police, Mike Kaminsky's a good guy, Ed Mattingly's a good guy. Okay. Uh, you met, I, I don't know, is it Detective Snow? Is there? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know him other than... He's just know. admitted, he's only admitted that he lies in court, I just can't deal with a guy like that. Okay. Did he admit that to you or something? He admitted it to a bunch of us over in the squad room, there was half a dozen of us over there.
You know, I'm not going to get between a guy like that and my brother. I mean, I know he had nothing to do with it, but I don't want things to get screwed up either. Well, I agree. You know, I want this done right. I think we all do. Yeah. Would there be a reason that Brooks would say that he did discuss asking you for any help on this matter? No, there's no way he said that. No reason, no way, 100% not. Okay. I know they asked you about it, but I know when he was being interviewed, you called and basically, I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, he was with John Snow. Out. He was with John Snow. Oh, was that our, Yes. Okay. Yes, I called up there. Brooks is a really cooperative guy. He's honest. You know, and I just basically, I didn't tell him to leave. I told him, I said, you go ahead and finish up your, uh, he was given a narrative or whatever, a, a statement. Mm -hmm. I said, it's fine to give that. I said, say what you mean, mean what you say. You know, I asked him, I said, are they screwing you around? They asked him the same questions, a bunch of different ways. Because he'd been up there for hours. This wasn't no one or two hours. He may have been up there like three hours or four hours. It'd been a while. And I figured John was screwing him around, and I just wanted to find out what, what was going on there. So that's all that was about. If they want to read more into it, that's up to them, you know. I'm just asking you just because I had... Yeah, he was, with, he was with John Snow, period. Uh, was that the same interview when Ryan from the State Police was there too? I don't have any idea if Ryan was here. I know Ryan and another guy interviewed me, but I don't think that uh, the State oh. Police have interviewed Brooks. Okay. I didn't there was know. a bigger guy. He was probably about, uh, I don't know, blonde hair, short, uh, kind of a heavier set guy, maybe about my height, 250, 240, something like that. And then there was Ryan Johnson was with him. So. Okay. Um, you ever seen Brooks lose his temper? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. What about in those rare occasions when he did? I tell you, I, I can't even think of an example where he's just went off the, you know, I mean, every once in a while he may, you know, mess up on a house or something like that, you know, but, I mean, Brooks just, he, he's a pretty calm, laid-back dude. He's not, you know, I mean, he doesn't take medication. He is level-headed. I mean, he keeps up with about 100 rental property. He builds eight or 10 houses all the time. I mean, he's just... He's he, he younger than you. He's younger than me. Does he kind of look up to you? Mm, I think a lot of times Brooks thinks he's over me, you know? I mean, it, it just depends. Is I mean, he a leader or a follower? I think both of us somewhat are leaders. Okay. What about when two of you are together? Who's the leader? Not what both of you, realistic. I don't know. I'm okay. not going to say that. That's why I asked. <laughs> just, I don't want to put him down. Um, <laughs> that tells me that, that that makes you the leader, so I understand. Um, what else haven't we talked about that might clear this up? If I knew, I'd tell you. Would you? Yes. Okay. If there was something that you knew would be helpful, but you felt you would you were not comfortable telling me or someone else, would you look me in the eye and say, there's some other stuff, but I just I prefer not to talk to you about it? You saying one of the detectives here, and then just call you? you no, no, you and me right now. As I'm talking, if if there are other things that you do know about that you're just simply not comfortable talking to me about, would you look me in the eyes now and tell me there's some other things? But I would just be done with that. Yeah, I tell you that. I'll, I'd straight up tell you that. And are there some other things you just do not discuss with me? No. Okay. Right. Anything else I have not asked you about today that in any way could be helpful? No. Think I've treated you fairly today? I think you have. I've been professional with you? Yes, sir. Have you yelled or screamed or cussed at you? Nope. Have you yelled or screamed or cussed at me? A little bit. Okay. And I understand that, okay? Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to, we'll step back out. We'll, we'll grab Ryan here and I'm assuming we'll get you back to work here. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Appreciate you coming in. All right. Anything down radio or anything? Or? I don't think, I don't think so. And you'd be amazed at stuff that does get left there.